Hey everyone, it is Jason Mazda and welcome back to another Sims 4 house building video. I was about to say Sims 3, still haven't gotten used to saying this intro, but we are going to be building our second house in Oasis Springs, and I was actually about to say Oasis Landing because The Sims is not very creative with their neighborhood names. Oasis Landing, obviously from The Sims 3 Into the Future expansion pack. I'm cheating a little bit with this house. I actually really wanted to see how well adding rooms from the gallery could make a house that didn't make sense. I wanted to use rooms from the gallery to make a house pretty much. And um, it actually turned out fairly well. I was actually uh, very pleasantly surprised. And I also said in my last video that I really wanted to make a Mediterranean style home. So I called this house Desert Oasis uh, because of the Oasis Springs uh, neighborhood. I should actually probably build in Willow Creek as well. I think, I'm pretty sure it's called Willow Creek. Um, so I'm grabbing all these rooms. Again, credit goes to the creators of these rooms. I take no uh, credit where uh, it is in terms of room construction, except I've changed some of the placement and the games changed. Uh, some of the furniture placement because I've manipulated where the rooms are placed as well as how long they are. Um, but I'm very happy with how this turned out. It's quite a long house. Um, I actually also changed the second floor height, uh, which was the first time I've actually manipulated the height of the wall, uh, which was very cool to see. And um, I like the little garden area at the front as well. Uh, it looks like a place that would be really nice to sit down. Lots of pretty flowers as well, and it's also got just like a bench and uh, a nice fence around it as well. Okay, so here we are just grabbing another bedroom. So it's a two-bedroom, one-bathroom house. I think what I'm going to try with the next house is I'm going to try building from scratch. Um, pretty much with the last two houses, I've sort of just wanted to see how... Um, how well I can um, manipulate some of the new features of The Sims 4. Um, but with the next house, probably I might change it, not sure yet. Um, I'd like to at least sometime soon try a house uh, building it from scratch, and I reckon that would be uh, a pretty big challenge for me as well, especially considering I'm still getting used to the controls of the game. I do really like the gallery. Problems with it so far as I've said in my Let's Play, as well as my last video, uh, the menu and like searching options default settings are really bad. Um, it's actually got quite a good uh, range of options that like you can, I worked out from this, you can actually even select like the individual rooms, I never actually knew you could do that before. Uh, so that's cool. And um, I also don't like it how when I'm trying to search for a lot of people's usernames, they don't come up and I know they exist. Um, even when I think I think I typed in Jason Mazda and it didn't pop up. And I've uploaded, I think this will be the fourth creation I've uploaded. Uh, I've uploaded two sims and two houses now, so that's odd. Um, but hopefully you guys will be able to find this house. If you can't find my uh, origin ID, uh, which is Jason Master 2, just type in for this house, Desert Oasis, or you can type in for my other house, which was, what did I end up calling it? Um, it's from Oasis. Did I call it Modern Oasis? I think I called it... Did I? Would I? Was I that uncreative with it? Um, I'll put a link in the description to what I called it. Maybe I did call it Modern Oasis. Oh, Desert Oasis, Modern Oasis. Oh, if I did that, that's actually really uncreative. But oh well. <laughs> it's pretty funny looking back at your house names. Um, so I'm just manipulating the roof here. I really like these click and drag options and I've obviously changed the heights, um, which we'll go back into in a little bit. I love this upstairs balcony, which I grabbed. Uh, it's got this grass flooring, which I actually have no idea how to do. Uh, I should 
I will figure that out because I'd like to do it uh, in the future. Um, and also the front area is quite nice. So I'm going to go back and try and paint and all that kind of stuff. There's still about 10 minutes of the video left. So um, this house was took a lot less time to build than uh, my first house, uh, which video was about 30 minutes long, which is um, 30 minutes condensed and sped up, which actually took about over two hours. This took maybe, maybe an hour. Um, probably could have done it faster if I knew how to access everything a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I was very happy with how it turned out. I've obviously changed the time of day now, so it changes a little bit of the color scheme, um, which is awesome. And here is the orange roof, uh, which is one of my favorite roofs. Did not like the height of the first floor, so I changed it to just normal. I think I changed the height of the second floor though, um, and then I add a tint, and I add this, uh, uh, I'm not even sure what it's called, it's like a, I guess it's like a tint, but it's in a different setting, it makes it look more Roman. Um, if you're looking at the screen now, you probably know what I mean, it's like, so it's not the tint, but it's like the, it looks like Roman architecture. Um, and I'll delete this little bit of it in a moment. So yeah, I just deleted the Roman architecture thing, which I was talking about. Um, but there's still some of it on um, a, the other part of the house. Uh, with windows, I wanted to originally create something which had like a flower bed underneath. Um, as I found out here that the roof was actually um, blocking me from doing that. So I wasn't able to do that. But um, I was going to also go with this balcony design as well. I'm pretty sure I scrapped that and I changed it to just normal windows. I put some trees and stuff like that into um, add some green. Uh, it's quite, at the moment, it's quite a deserty house and I obviously want a Mediterranean look, so it needs to have, even though it can be in the desert, it has to have some sort of Italian sort of style plants, I guess. Um, and yeah, very happy with how it turned out. Um, I also like what I do with the backyard, uh, wish I had done something like that in The Sims 3, uh, it looks awesome. The tree that I use for the backyard actually is, uh, one of the, my favourite trees that I have seen, um, seen, um, in The Sims 4 so far, which is awesome for me to say that. Uh, I was thinking about manipulating, um, I wanted to add like a curved balcony here, but then didn't really work very well and uh, it was becoming, there was not much room on the lot either. I'd actually really like different sized lots, um, would make it a lot easier. Um, I have to look into that. And I also need to play the game a little bit more. I need to, I know there's special neighborhoods um, that you're actually able to unlock. So I need to go and find out how to do that. That would, uh, really help. Um, maybe they have some blank lots and stuff like that that I can use uh, for future builds because so far I've used two of the blank lots in Oasis Springs and um, there's not many more for me to use. I'm also checking my Twitter feed while I'm um, recording audio for this video and there's this picture that's just popped up. Who's it by? Uh, it's the Sims Cookie, uh, who's made this house, it's like a grandma's cottage, and it's changed the roof, uh, it's almost like a curved roof, need to learn how to do that as well, that would be very, very awesome if I could learn how to do that. Uh, it also is in Willow Creek, so I need to learn how to, um, I obviously know how to. Um, I need to go play Willow Creek as well. So I might actually, um, in the next part of my Sims 4 Let's Play, which hopefully you are watching uh, with Lloyd Richards, um, we might move him to Willow Creek if we can get him some money. I actually haven't worked out also how to get him to go to work uh, because there's no cars in this game. Um, but we can learn together and hopefully you guys can give me some hints. Um, hit me up on Twitter at at Jason Mazda tweet. Um, I also have Facebook, but I hardly ever use it. So just j Twitter or the comment section below would be the best way of contacting me. 
I have 311 followers on Twitter at the moment, which is pretty good considering I've been pretty idle from the YouTube community for quite some time. Um, one of the reasons for that is because of my uni course. It's quite demanding. I love it. Um, have awesome friends, awesome course, fantastic time I'm having. Uh, English is very bad for me at the moment. Uh, at least I'm doing physio, I don't really need that. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it and I just haven't really had time or felt motivated to make videos. But now that The Sims 4 has come up, um, I've learned how much I've missed uploading videos. Um, it's really fun. I've been able to pick up a lot of stuff that I learned beforehand uh, with my editing and uh, Photoshop skills, all that kind of stuff. So it hasn't been too hard to pick it back up. Um, but obviously I've got to show my audience that I can upload more videos more regularly. So one of the first comments I got from the Let's Play was like, you haven't uploaded a video in months, where were you? Um, yeah, so I was at uni and I've been enjoying that. Um, but yeah, I really do like this game. I also want to get Dragon Age Inquisition as well, which is another PC game. So I'm thinking about maybe just uploading Let's Play slash gameplay of just anything, really. Um, my channel's got 15,000 subscribers, and realistically, if you've stuck with me this long, you're probably going to be willing to um, watch most things that I upload, or you'll just unsubscribe. But realistically, I want to be able to upload, hopefully, um, regular content. And I'd like to majorly stick with The Sims, because it's obviously what I started with and what I'm best at. Um, but also maybe do some videos of other games, which would be quite fun to do. Um, here we are just changing the walls and um, adding this staircase in. I actually um, added the staircase in last, um, which I did in the last house as well. <laughs> added all these rooms. I was like, oh, this is really awesome, but I didn't have a staircase. So I have to actually have a look into um, uh, if there's any wall, uh, rooms on the gallery which actually fit stairs into them, um, because I haven't looked at that so far. Um, I decide with the entryway, which I really liked in the end, um, I make it a little bit bigger and add this like hallway in. Um, here I am just trying to work out how to get into the gym, so I f use this other door, uh, remove some of the uh, objects which are blocking it, and then um, I realize, oh, how do, you, how do we get to the bathroom now? Um, so I add this hallway which makes it a little bit more practical rather than you going through the gym. With these houses, I'm really trying to just be um, pretty realistic with my builds. Um, I suppose it's not very realistic to find... A, is it realistic to find a Mediterranean house in the desert? I'm not even sure, really. Um, maybe it is. Maybe not. Oh, well, it's happening, so it's The Sims anyway, so... Pretty much can do whatever, but um, I hope you are enjoying these houses and these uploads. Um, I know for those who've stuck this long with the video, um, I hope you have. It's 30 minutes now, so um, thank you so much if you have actually stuck along this long, or if you skipped and you were lucky enough to find uh, me saying this. So thank you very much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, here I am just manipulating the room so it goes into a hallway. Uh, I thought the staircase was actually a little bit weirdly placed in there, so I had like a wall around it to sort of sort of section it off, but not really. Um, I was thinking about putting a staircase in the corridor, but it just wouldn't work with the floor plan upstairs. Uh, so I have a lot of stuff to learn uh, with this game, but... You guys can help me. I actually looked at a cheats video the other day, and there's no um, move objects on, unfortunately. Um, I also looked at the Sim Supplies um, split leveling tutorial, which I'll have to try out uh, because I always love split leveling. Um, I don't know if you can actually do that um, with upper floors, uh, but I guess we can find out. Here I am just finishing up finishing up the house, finishing off the terrain paint. Um, almost done with this, uh, creating this sort of curve with the terrain paint just to make it look a little bit more realistic. There's my Facebook going off, should have turned that off. Um, this is the uh, 
what is it called? Uh, the garden barbecue area with the nice white picket fence. It's not actually a picket fence, it's just a white um, farmhouse fence. And I've also got like the Roman style balcony and trim and windows as well. So it's sort of a Italian y style um, Oasis house, which is what I called it. So here's some of the interior in images as well. Uh, I really do like the interior of the house, very modern, but also uh, quite uh, Italian y as well. I especially like this kitchen as well. Thanks, Facebook. Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, here is the nice gym with the lime green, white, and yellow color master bedroom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to give it a thumbs up and find me on the gallery. I will see you guys next time for another Sims 4 house building video. Bye, guys.